<laughs> Let's move on to our favorite underdogs uh, for the weekend. I'll go first. I like United, Manchester United, plus 260 at Chelsea. I, I just don't think there's too much separating these two sides right now. You look at what Chelsea's been doing over the last few results uh, since Graham Potter came. They're overperforming their expected goals by quite a bit. Really lucky win against Aston Villa. Really lucky draw against Brentford. Meanwhile, the United defense, which has been their Achilles heel, is starting to look like it has some form uh, some form of life. And maybe it's Casemiro getting embedded in the side. It's, it's maybe a little continuity with the, the center backs. Uh, they're getting healthier back there. And like you said, BJ, there's a ton of big injuries for Chelsea to deal with. Conte, Reese James, down the list. It's not good. Thiago Silva. So I think this is a good spot to back Manchester United plus 260 on the road. Yeah, I like Schalke plus 375 on the road at Hertha Berlin on Sunday. Um, this is an interesting spot because you have Hertha Berlin sitting at minus 135 when I don't really think that they're that much better than Schalke currently. I mean, Hertha Berlin has a minus 4.5. They expect a goal differential. Schalke's sitting at minus 5. Schalke's got some new manager bounce. They got Beat 3 nothing by Hoffenheim. Hoffenheim had uh, two penalties. Then they played Hoffenheim again in the DFB Pokal. They lost 5-1. They fired their manager, Frank Kramer. So a little bit of new manager bounce here. There's really just nothing to like uh, about Hertha Berlin right now. I mean, they're 13th in non-penalty expected goals for. They're 14th in expected goals against Schalke. I mean, they're they're on a five-match you know losing streak. But you look at the teams that they've faced near the bottom of the table. They lost 2-3 to Augsburg. Beat them on expected goals 2.2 to 1.1. They beat Bochum 3-1, beat them on expected goals. They drew 1-1 with Stuttgart. They beat them 2.5 to 0.9 on expected goals. So teams that are playing near the bottom of the table or teams that are similar quality to Hertha Berlin, they're actually playing very well against. So I think this number's uh, way too inflated on Hertha Berlin. A little new manager bounce for Schalke, plus 375. Uh, BJ and I decided before the podcast that if Anthony was here and not at the uh, – smashing pumpkins concert he would probably take uh, newcastle against spurs so if you just take our two underdogs that's united at shock it's a 16 to 1 if you throw newcastle in there it's 59 to 1 uh and that's gonna hit so might want to do it 